Well, now we turn to breaking news in North Harris County. Authorities have arrested two men in connection to a violent home invasion there. Deputies just identified the suspects as Roberto Laredo and Jorge Saker. They are facing a list of charges and they include the assault of a woman in front of her children. It all happened at the home in Ponderosa Forest neighborhood. And ABC 13 reporter Charlie Etsidi is down the street at the Precinct 4 Constable's office where Constable Mark Herman just gave us an update. Charlie, what did he have to say? Good morning, Melanie. Well, he said that they're still looking for a third suspect they believe was involved in this very scary home invasion. And so thankfully, the mom and her three children are OK. But we learned that the mom ended up being hit in her head. It sounds like several times with a gun during this scary situation and it all happening in front of her children. And so we actually spoke to a neighbor who lives right next door to where the where this happened. And he says that his cameras captured uh, some of the suspects walking up to the home and he says he saw this as it was happening and kind of got a bad feeling that something something was going to happen and so that neighbor's name is Clyde Lovings he lives on Tucumcari Drive and his video does show a truck you can see here pull up on the street it parks and then it turns off its headlights well then three men get out of the truck and go towards the neighbor's house and inside the mom and her three kids so these suspects apparently bashed in a back door and got inside the house so the mom then panicked and ran to hide with all the kids up in the attic well the mom then called Clyde, the neighbor, uh, just, you know, freaking out, telling him that she was hiding from these people in the home. So meanwhile, Clyde's wife had already dialed 911, telling deputies to get to the house immediately. So the woman on the phone was then heard screaming when the suspects found the family hiding. And Clyde says he heard a man yelling, where's the money? And then also threatening to kill her. And so the woman says the family uh, was forced downstairs. The mom says her family was forced downstairs and the suspects started to search the home. That's when they managed to get away and run out of the house. So Clyde's video does show the family escaping out the front door as a constable deputy arrives. This neighborhood, everybody over here stick together, you know, and even when we found out what was going on, the other neighbors around, everybody coming to the rescue, you know, but it's sad. It's really sad. Whatever the motive is, you know, take the kids at gunpoint, then beat the mom in the front of the kids. It's just sorry. Yeah, just pretty scary there listening to Clyde uh, share some details. And so from there, Clyde believes the suspects then ran out of the back of the house and hopped over his fence in order to get away from the deputy who was on scene. So Constable Mark Herman says two of the suspects were caught, Jorge Saker and Roberto Laredo. Uh, one of those suspects was tracked down with the help of a canine unit that was working a perimeter in that neighborhood. So deputies uh, did look through the truck that those suspects arrived in, and they also say that they did find those two suspects in possession of cocaine. And so both of the men are now charged with uh, several different charges, a burglary of a habitation, evading on foot, felony possession of a weapon and possession of a controlled substance. And so take a listen here to uh, the constable sharing more details about the investigation. We understand that the owner of the house does own a business, so we don't know if he was targeted for that or what the actual motive was. Uh, that's still under investigation. Uh, one of the suspects, we, we, the third suspect we did not get, we have an idea who he is and uh, I feel confident he'll be in custody uh, hopefully within the next couple of hours. All right, so you just heard there they're confident they will be able to track down that third suspect who right now is on the run, but obviously some incredibly scary details coming from this mother uh, and the neighbor as well. And so thankfully the mom and the kids are all OK. But uh, Melanie, yeah, just some dramatic footage and some dramatic details with this case. So we'll stay on top of this one. I'm going to toss it back inside to you in the studio. All right, Charlie, thanks so much. Let's hope they find that third that third guy pretty quickly. We appreciate it. Yeah.